Your Honor, we disagree. I'm not going to get into it in terms of commenting about what Mr. West stated, but the recording, as I understand, is actually by phone. So the recording by Mr. Crump of this witness is by telephone. That is, Mr. Crump was not present when the witness gave this interview or recorded statement to Mr. Crump. And therefore, we provided the best copy we have, which is what we got. I don't know how to get a better copy. I got the best copy that what I understood was the exact copy of the document itself in terms of recording. And I've turned that over and I've told that to Mr. West. Do you know who else was present during the interview? There were other people that appear to be present in terms of just by background noise, but I would have to ask Mr. Crump in terms of who, because my obligation is what I was trying to find out is, is there a recording of that witness? Get it, which I got, and turned it over to the defense in terms of, since it was not in person, in other words. Who created the recording you got? Mr. Crump. Okay. I guess we need to find out from Mr. Crump whether or not he saved that on his phone. And if he saved it on his phone, if there's a means to get that, a better recording of it. He's in the courtroom. And he's in the courtroom, so. I'm not going to put him on the spot, but if you want to ask him, I'll sit here and wait. Mr. Crump is willing to talk and tell the court exactly where there is, so there's no dispute about it. Mr. Crump, if you'll please come up to the podium, please, sir. Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. And you've been able to hear we're discussing the alleged recorded interview of witness number eight that you made. Could you please tell us how this came about? What process did you use or what means did you use to record it? And if you still have that recording on your phone. Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. It was recorded by telephone. We got the information to the FBI who had the most sophisticated recording devices, I guess, in the United States. And that recording was then preserved by them and given to the state of Florida. It was very hard to hear because it was on the telephone. We were trying to hear clearly the recording on the telephone, but it was difficult to hear. And there were people in the room, and I have told the state of Florida anything that they will require of us, of Trayvon's family. We will absolutely cooperate in any way, fashion, or form. I understand we're going to be asked questions in deposition about the issue. We're ready to go at great length to give the court and officers of the court anything at all they want. Let me interrupt you for one minute. The people who were in the room, did you have it on speakerphone? Yes. Okay. So we're going to need a list of the names. Check. If you would please, is this deposition set? No, but maybe we can get the list of the people who are in the rooms now so we can put them on our witness list. We may not have them now, but I'll give you ten days to provide that list to the state and the defense. But I'm going to ask if it is on your phone, please do not erase it. And if it is on your phone, if you would bring it to you to the deposition so the attorneys will have an opportunity to listen to it at that time. Absolutely, Your Honor. And the family has been willing to participate in any way that the court will have them. Does that take care of that? Not quite. Not quite. May I make some inquiry here? Yes, you may. Mr. Crump, you mentioned the FBI. Was the FBI involved in making this recording? No, sir. And what do you mean by the FBI having sophisticated recording equipment? Sir. Those are questions that could be asked at a deposition. Mr. Crump is not on the witness list, Judge. Well, he said he's ready to give a deposition. I know that, but he's not on the witness list. The state has not offered Mr. Crump as a person who knows something about this case. The court's going to make him a witness for the purpose of taking a deposition regarding this issue. So you can take a step. Thank you, Judge. We'll schedule that as soon as we're able. Okay. And if you will please bring your phone, just that, the phone, if the attorneys wish to hear it at the deposition, they may do so together at that time. Okay, I will certainly check in. A couple of follow-ups, if I might, for clarification. Mr. Crump is still directed to provide the names of the persons. Within 10 days. Yes, and also the circumstances under which the recording was released to the media. 
and what and the circumstances under which it was provided to the FBI, if in fact it was. I, I'm not quite clear. Is that what happened? You after you recorded the okay, phone? That will be taken up in a deposition. Um, you know, if if you if you're not able to get whatever answers you want in a deposition, then you can can let me know. But I I don't want to take up our time here today deposing Mr. Crump. Um, first of all, he's not under oath. So um, you can ask him those questions. I'm, I'm allowing uh, you the opportunity within 10 days to have the names of the people who were in the room that could hear both sides of the conversation because it was on speakerphone um, and providing you the opportunity to listen to that interview from his phone um, in a room with, with Mr. De La Ronda, whoever the state. Would, would, would the court inquire of how the state came to be in possession of the tape? Because Mr. De La Ronda didn't claim any source whatsoever, only that it showed up somewhere. Those are questions that you can ask, and I'm not taking Mr. Crumb's deposition here in the courtroom today. I can't, uh, I can't take Mr. De La Ronda's depot, at least not yet. I'd, I'd ask the court to inquire of him so we can further this discovery. How did he get the tape? Who did he get it from? What's the chain of custody? Okay. Mr. De La Ronda, who did you uh, get the tape from? I got it from uh, FBLE, who got it from the FBI, and I've already indicated that to Mr. West. But again, I'm not going to get into a banter here in terms of attacking us. I'm abiding by the court's order in terms of not getting into a dispute. got it from the FBLE, who got it from the FBI, yes, who got it from Mr. Crump. There you go. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Mr. Crump. Yes, ma'am. Anything else in your motion to compel discovery that I can assist you with at this time? Uh, no, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, 